Hi everyone, this is Vignesh. In this video, we are going to see about checkbox and radio buttons. Let's create new activity. To do that, right click on your project, activity, empty activity. Give the activity name as form activity. In last video, we have checked launcher activity. Now, we'll do that manually without checking it. Click on finish. Open Android manifest. Cut the intern filter from button activity and place it for form activity. Press Ctrl Alt L for aligning the code. If we launch the application, it will launch form activity first. As a coding standard, we shouldn't keep separate ending tag if we don't have any inner tags. So we'll end this activity in the same line itself. To open the layout file, press Ctrl on your keyboard and click on the layout name. Change the constraint layout to linear layout. A linear layout must contain orientation, so we'll add orientation as vertical. I'm creating a text view as a title for radio group and I'm naming it as gender. Create a radio group and I am giving the width as match parent and height as wrap content. Inside, we need to create radio buttons. I am giving the width as match parent and height as wrap content. And I am giving the text as male. Duplicate the radio button and change the text to female. I am creating one more text view as a title for the checkbox and I am naming it as languages known. We need to create some languages checklist checkbox with this match parent height as wrap content and text as English. Copy the checkbox and paste it how many times you want and change the text. To move the radio button, we'll add margin start as 10 dp for the radio group. So all the radio buttons will be moved towards left. If we need to do the same thing for checkbox, then we need to add margin for all the checkboxes. To avoid this, we'll create a linear layout and place all the checkboxes inside it. Now we can add the margin to the linear layout so that it will affect all the views inside it. Finally, we'll create a button to display the selected and checked item.
also we need a text view to display the final result You can see I given the width and height as match parent for the text view. So the text view is covering the remaining space of the screen. Let's assign IDs for all the views which we created so that we can access the views inside Kotlin. In next video, we'll see how to handle radio buttons and checkbox from Kotlin. That's all for this video guys. If you have any doubts, please put it in the comment section. I will try to answer it. Hope you like it. I will see you on my next video.